Hey beautiful ladies, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, I am Glambitious, and today I'm going to be showing you ladies how I get these curls. Okay, so first you want to make sure that your hair is completely dry and brushed out, that you have no tangles. And then you're going to go on with your heat protectant of your choice. I went in with the Tresemme uh, heat protectant, and you're just going to spray that all over your hair. Next, I usually will go in with a hot comb and make sure that there's no lumps at the top of my head. But if you don't have a hot comb on you, you can easily go on with a wand that's heated up and just press that onto your scalp and make sure that you lay that hair down. Make sure that that wig does not look bulky, ladies. Then I'm just going to go in and section off my hair, leaving out the part that I do want to curl and putting out the rest so that it doesn't get in our way. here because I wanted you guys to see that when I am placing the hair around the wand I'm making sure that it's flat and I'm placing it around the wand so that way we get the best curls and after you release your curl you just want to scrunch it and hold that curl into place for a couple of seconds make sure that it really holds and it doesn't just go right back to being straight Also, ladies, I did get this wand curler from Amazon. I will make sure I list the link in the description bar. But this is a inch wand curler, art inch and a half. Um, as long as you have an inch or inch and a half wand curler for these type of curls, you can get this look. You just want to keep separating your hair and repeating those steps. One hour later, two hours later, three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards.
actually want to curl toward your head and that way this is going to give the front of your hair more volume and and the little pieces behind that i curl some to the front some away and that's going to give you some extra volume as well when you're doing your hair even your makeup you guys i always tell y'all this but there's no specific way there's no perfect way just play with it until you get it the way you like it Sometimes I have to redo curls in the opposite direction because I didn't like how it was looking. And you know, sometimes I just pick up random pieces and start curling them. So there's no perfect way, you guys. Literally, as you can see here, I'm just grabbing pieces and curling at this point. And then like, boom them curls just start falling into place you see you can't don't take it so serious y'all just play with it i promise you at the end you're gonna like it if you don't touch it up a little bit more until you do done yet we've only reached like the half point still got a little bit of ways to go but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of it curled and it not curled or what the difference kind of look like so yeah let's get back into the hair tutorial sure I'm not grabbing too much hair and curling it again making sure that it's flat on the barrel and you want to make sure you don't grab too much hair so you want to make sure that the curls come out right if you have too much hair on the barrel it's not going to really curl the hair it's not that heat's not going to really get all the way through the curl so make sure you grab not too much hair not too little bit of hair because we ain't trying to spend all day doing our hair but yeah you just kind of gotta eye it <laughs>
yeah, y'all, don't burn y'all back like I did. Do not let y'all curler wands fall, okay, on y'all's back like I did. <laughs> Make sure y'all are careful because those things do get hot, especially if you have the one that is the interchangeable one like mine was. Yeah, that thing got hot. front pieces make sure that you are always always curling toward your face not away from that way that we get the most volume in that front area oil and I'm just going to brush through my hair especially putting that oil toward the ends of my hair and I'm just gonna play with my hair make sure that all my curls are exactly how I want them to be it's framing my face right um, if I do do ever want to I usually go in and touch up a couple extra curls if I want it to be like super fresh but if I'm just going for like a casual I'm cute not doing too much type of look I'll just leave it kind of like this and you know just let it give that wavy look you know like I woke up like this Thank <laughs> you. 